It's time for Photoshop. -y. Hey you, my name is Elian and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. This video is going to be a little bit different from the usual because it's going to be a Photoshop tutorial. If you're not into Photoshop tutorials, scroll away. I was browsing through my old videos and I realized that my more popular video, the one about the lens ball, I put a poll on it asking people if they are interested in short tutorials and it has 48 replies saying yes, death. So as you can guess, today we're doing a short Photoshop tutorial. I took something easy for starters, which is replacing a reflection of something. So you pretty much have a photo of some sort where the reflection of the main object is not matching. So for example, you might have a person doing one pose and then in the reflection they're doing another pose or maybe a complete other person in the reflection or something like that. So actually, I didn't have time to go take pictures specifically for this tutorial. So I need to go back in time and find the ones that I took a while back. Uh, landscapes. This one I got a free drink. That was cool. Uh, walking home from across a bridge. This is Radosh saying something smart. Uh, this taking pictures of Radosh. Uh, random leaves, random leaves. Okay. So these two are the ones. You obviously need two photographs. One is with the original and the other is with the changed reflection. So here the effect will be of the camera disappearing. It's not perfectly aligned, obviously, because your hand shakes and he moved when, when I took the camera away from him, but that is okay because Photoshop can fix it. As you can see, it's a regular photo, it's just like this. I cropped it so the reflection roughly goes through the middle here and just applied my quote unquote teal and orange preset. I decided to keep the camera as the reflection because it's a lot more visible here than say the hand because the reflection obviously is a little bit blurry and not as clear as the main part. So I'm gonna take this, copy, paste it on top of this layer and change the opacity down to something. And now what's important here is the hand on the top part of the frame because the bottom will be erased anyway. So I just r roughly wanna align at least the feet. Now I can mask it, take my black brush and erase the contents of the puddle. Doesn't really even take that much precision. Just make sure that the shoes here get properly placed. And now we just need to crop it to get rid of that misalignment we pretty much have our picture now it's up to you to play around with the effects uh, my regular workflow is adding a gradient a teal and orange gradient now i try to find some natural course of flow let's say the sun is there and the puddles here or for example to create the contrast between the, the real life and the reflection I might split it like this and obviously take the opacity down to something really small. Something like this, for example. And I think what I did in my original Instagram, I might have flipped the entire image 180 degrees. And then I guess you like this trippy feel because at, the, at first glance, you think that the top part is reality and the bottom was reflection. Then you realize that the bottom was actually more clear. So it just takes a while, you know, and then people spend longer time looking at it. And it's, it's overall a more intriguing photo. Another technique I stole from Radosh and used ever since is uh, these little light flares of sorts, which I put on screen mode to just add a touch of fake sunshine like that. And then you can even do the same thing, but invert it, which gives you a kind of glue flare for the shadows. Anyway, there we go. You can, if you're interested, you can find this photo on my Instagram account, but it's from a while back. I don't even remember the date. Let me check. It's probably in the meta metadata. January 5th, 2014. Never mind. The date wasn't set on my camera when I took it. It was sometime at the end of last year. And there you have it, guys. That was Photoshop 101. I hope you enjoyed it or at least learned something new. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next week. Oh my God, I practiced this stuff so good. I don't even have to think about saying it anymore.